Hey guys, welcome back to another video here in Fix It Fax It. My name is Fix It, and today we're going to be doing something pretty special. Today we're doing a 600 subscribers special, so thank you for 600 subscribers. But basically, as you probably read in the title, I don't know what I titled it, but you can imagine. Um, uh, I'm going to be kind of doing a tour of my house, and at the same time showing you all the systems that are in my house. Because there's a lot of them, like the fire alarm system, phone system, security system... Uh, like a PA speaker system. Anyway, that's not working. Future video. Uh, I'm very excited for it to work again. And uh, as you probably noticed, I finally found the tripod. That was a whole thing. Anyway, so it's beautiful again. And uh, I'm I'm going to do a little bit better editing, as you will hopefully notice in this video. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, let's jump into it. Since we're here at the set, I figured we would just set start here. So um, this is the set, and this is the part that you can't see. Now I added this on when I first got the phone system, and the phone system was mounted here, and a cord running up there, and a cord running over to my desk for the phone on the desk. Anyway, it's long gone. That was a very sad day when we uh, when I had to cut all the wires and reprogram the whole thing because it's still not the same. And all the extensions are different. Uh, I still don't remember all the extensions. Anyway, what's here now, and it was here when the phone system was here, but this is like the only thing that's still on this second piece of board. Is a it's a it's a sub panel. It's not like it's not really a system, but this is what powers everything here on the set because there's one plug like behind the set. Where is it? It's right. It's there. It is that one, and it's kind of hard to get to. So th this. Uh, has a, well, it's a 15 amp, it's not uh, two-phase, it's just there, so I can use the two phases and not have to skip one, and I have uh, two, like, double breakers, I guess, in here, so, yeah, so, like, each, like, not each, like, receptacle, but, like, literally each plug has its own circuit, so, like, if I turn this one off, that the top one goes off, if I turn that one off, now the bottom one is off, so they each will literally have their own, and there's these two, and then there's that one there, and then this runs the lights. So th that extension cord runs all these lights on the set. So yeah, this might be a bit of a long video because there's a lot. So this is number one, and uh, I will count. And at the end of the video, let's you guys guess right now, leave in the comments, how many systems do you think I have? And at the end of the video, I will leave a number. So... Yeah, because I, I don't know. I, I'll have to count. Um, so that's, that's, that's this. That's pretty much everything that's over here. Now, eventually, I'd like to have part of a phone system phone over here, but I don't, I don't have that. Oh, I guess this counts. This is my cash drawer that I got. It was getting thrown away. And I stuck one of those cheap access control things from, from uh, Amazon on there. It's a fob. And uh, so now I keep all my, my money in there. So we go like this. And money. I'm not going to show you how much money I have because you guys don't need to see that. But yeah, so basically you just scan it and it opens. So I, I, I like that. It's fun. Um, and you got to wait till it closes. The way to adjust that so that it closes faster is in the, bo in the box. So I have to take the screws out. And I'm not doing that. Anyway, so that's, that's that. Fish tank. Um... Uh, we can go over here, and this is where a lot of stuff starts. This, you guys probably have never seen. This is a new phone to my phone system. Now, I have a, a Northstar um, 6x16 phone system, so Northstar phones. And this is an M7324, and I have an M7310. So I have, I think, 12 more buttons on this. So I have all six lines on here. Now, obviously, only one line works. As you can see, only one, one works, nothing else does. And then we have, like, everything else down here, uh, so we can call different rooms. So, for example, I'll go make uh, the toilet phone busy. 
don't worry, we'll get to this, but if I'll just take it off the hook, like that. And you can see, it pops up like that line is in use, even though it's not a line. And it also acts that if I hit it, it will call that phone, even though it's gonna say busy, because obviously. And I can do priority, because this is my main phone. And it basically kicks them off whatever other call. There's also something called the voice call with the system, where you hit it, and then you dial an extension, or hit the button. And it picks up the phone for you, so it's like a two-way page, and we'll get to paging in a minute. But basically, I have that. And then there's also music with this phone system, which when I go downstairs, actually, I will um, fix that. Um, I, uh, I needed the USB stick. Anyway, next system. So this is the reception phone, and that's one of a lot of extensions. So you can do extensions and dial out, and when you call in, there's, I forget what it is, auto attendant, I think? Where it's like, thank you for calling, and then you dial the extension number. Anyway, next system. Security system. So this is a DSC Neo security system. And uh, I love the security system. It is the best. Now, I have multiple par partitions, which basically means one control panel, and it acts like multiple systems. So we have this system here, and um, the motion sensor, and door contact. Now, I will be testing a bunch of these systems, um, but I will use the other partition downstairs, because the siren is downstairs, so that'll be easier. So, I guess, basically what I'm going to do is like show a bit in every room, and at the end we'll test them all. So, security system in this place is there. Obviously, we got my computer, multiple computers. That's my, that's the one that crashes, but the one I use the most. And that one I'm just putting windows on because it doesn't have windows. And this is my home assistant server. Now, basically, a home assistant server. Home assistant is like a, uh, like, free, like, home assistant. It's kind of like a, a, a Google assistant. I'm not going to say it. Or like an Alex A. Um... Except uh, it's local, so it doesn't go through third-party companies. So I will pull it up on my computer so you guys can see. Also, I finally upgraded from a Chromebook to a Mac. Anyway, so this is Home Assistant. It's local. Uh, this is the application for Mac. But if you uh, were to like get this from anywhere like on your phone, it would show the IP address of that. And then from there, you have this menu. So for example, I can turn off the lights in here. Well, they don't go off because the set lights aren't on this. But for example, these Christmas lights and that light, when I hit the button, those go off and the light turns off. And I also have it programmed so that when I hit the switch, the light comes on and those. And yeah, there it goes. And the, the fish tank also comes on with um, a stolen extension cord so that doesn't work right now. Uh, right now. Anyway. That's the home assistant setup. And then, this is the start of the speaker system that I was talking about. My old speaker system. Uh, this is my Bobin UTI-1 paging interface. I'm not really going to get into this because there's a whole other video coming out on that. And then down here I have my networking setup. So, a network switch, um, a media player, but I don't know why it's in there. And that is called a Magic Jack. It basically is like an I uh, VOIP to analog phone adapter so that's how i have an outside line on my old phone system this is from like the 80s like when my house was built in 1988 anyway yeah so that's that's that so now we are gonna not go downstairs but go out and fire alarm system more on that later but horn stroke and uh pulse station that's how my channel started anyway i'm gonna go to the next place obviously the next place is the bathroom which is near oh right i forgot to go back up there are from. That was tough to install. Uh, this one is an T7208. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, T7208. It's a the North Star phone system. These are the newer kinds of phones. I'll show you what the old ones look like. But you got the, the Nortel networks, because this is newer. And they made these right before Nortel got bought out by Via. That was a shame. Anyway, so yeah, uh, went in the toilet, so yeah. And that in the family room. This is the only thing that's here. This is a, a T7316, I think. So this is, again, the newer line of phones. Um, so, yeah, newer line of phones. And uh, this one I just installed. So you got, like, VM, 
uh, cell phones and line one and line two, even though there's only one line, and page, so you can page. You can't really hear it, but all the other phones in the house just went off. So yeah, that's fun. And I'm just gonna check here. This is a T7316E. Uh, the E is for extra, so you got extra buttons. For example, I think the speakerphone button isn't here and they're not extra, and so is the handset. So I think that's something special with the E. Anyway, that's this phone, and I can dial like uh, the perception, and the buttons on this one works the same, where if the extension is in use, it will pop up like a line. If it reception, it will go call reception, obviously. calling the intercom line is flashing and you can see the living room is in use so if i answer that huh. okay that's like this weird thing okay there it's answered and then if i hang up you see it goes out of use anyway next next thing i guess this counts as the home assistant part uh right there is a smart switch for the outside lights which you can't see but i'll show you guys once it gets dark out and then another smart switch for the dining room lights so that's always fun this one's programmed to turn off really, really slow. And I have my, my phone here, where it is home assistance, right there. Also, leave leave uh, in the comments if you guys like the new iOS 18, because I do. Anyway, uh, that would be dining room. Yeah, so that works, and I can turn it off from here. And you can dim it all from home assistant. And then you can also control TVs, which is kind of self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna show you that. Okay, so we're down the stairs right here. And why is my phone playing stuff? Anyway, stairs. Um, so we walk here. First, we got a fire alarm pull station. I'll demonstrate the fire alarm system. I just forgot my keys upstairs. And unfortunately, there's no smart stuff down here. There's a couple smart switches that I didn't show you guys, but it's you guys get the, the basics. And this is a work like that I'll turn. So yeah, pull station here. We walk in a bit more. Uh, we have a phone here. And actually, I completely forgot. In this guest bed, I just installed another phone here. This was the old one that was upstairs. So, like, I can uh, intercom. About 21. And yeah, the phone rings. So. Yeah. You can hear it. So, yeah. I'm gonna go. Is it? Yeah, it's hung up. Okay. So, those are two extensions, and then this is my fire alarm demo board. So this has nothing to do with the rest of the fire alarm system in this house. It's just a demo board, which as you can see has been kind of harvested because we're missing three pulse stations. And uh, yeah, this is my Simplex T-Bar. And uh, VG12, I don't remember the model, because this is just a pull down. Um, but it's like the base of a, of a Firelight VG12, and then it's just the front of just a pull down model. Simplex 4006 and the Potter PFC 40410 or PFC-4410A. Beautiful. Uh, we go back here. Yeah, you guys can probably tell my ham radio collection. It's getting bigger. Um, we go back here. There's this phone. The screen doesn't work. And there, I used to have phones here. I don't know if this jack works anymore. No, that's a dead jack. It doesn't work anymore. And there used to be a jack. I don't know if you guys remember. There was a box on the wall. There's a phone right here. And there was a jack right there. Oh. And that's also been cut. Uh, that's the wire for it. I don't remember. Actually, I do remember cutting that. Because I needed the wires. I don't remember disconnecting that, though. That's something that I don't remember doing. But it's not connected anymore. So... I did that. Um, anyway, so phones. This is not mine, but it's a Gentex Commander 3. Uh, strobe only. Cheap Amazon Bell. That's an L-series phone. Charge controller. Uh, ham radio and phone stuff. Uh, these are a bunch of dead phones. The, this model won't work on phone system. And then here's a bunch of other dead phones and weird random landline phones. So that's fun. Anyway. There's that fire alarm control panel, which isn't locked. I know it should be. It's not. Down here, I have it, this emergency light. 
um, that's needs to be fixed, as you can tell, because those are hanging. And then I have this pack over here, along with this bell for the f fire alarm system. And that pack has its heads, and it does these remote heads over here. And while I'm over here, we also have a, these, this pull station and that. I almost pulled it. ADHD makes you do weird things, I'm telling you. And uh, an air phone. Uh, this is another pile of stuff, so I have an emergency light that needs to be fixed. I have phones that need to be fixed. Anyways, so this is the server room. This is where there's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna... Okay, good. Making sure it doesn't get set off. Um, ta da! So, this is the phone system. So, I'll explain this. This is called a Bix block. This is where the wires terminate from the phone system and they go off. The rest of the phone's in the house. This is the main control panel, the uh, 616 control panel. Uh, this is the phone, obviously. So intercom and the line. You can hear the, the line relays click when you do that. And then this is the StarTech Mini. It's kind of like a StarTech Flash, which is a voicemail module. So for example, to access voicemail, you dial feature 981. And it calls into Please this. Please enter your password, then press. Yeah, so stuff like that. And then this is an ETA, analog terminal adapter. So this, these are all digital phones. This let me hook up analog phones, like rotary phones, which I will demonstrate, just not right now. We'll do it later in the video. And then over here is my, supposed to be my NAS setup, but it doesn't work. If you guys can tell me why true NAS will fail half the time, and then the other half of the time, it won't let you use the, I don't remember what it's called, but it's what Windows uses to access it. It won't let me use that. So, yeah. Anyway. That's, oh, and this is the amplifier to play the music and the card with the music on it. So I'm going to go, I don't know where I put the USB stick, but I'm going to go find that so that we can mess around with music. And then I'll do a fire alarm system. Actually, I'll do this too. So I'll go get that stuff. Okay, so I got a rotary phone. Well, you can be any any analog phone. It's like any normal land, landline phone. I got a rotary phone. And at first we'll do music. So to turn on the music on any phone, it's also the hold music. You hit feature. Eight six right music on. Nothing's playing because I have to put the card in. So I think the first song so I don't get copyrighted because it's actual music. This isn't a public number. I mean it is, but I'm not telling anyone. So I have copyright songs. So I think it's the Stranger Things intro. No, hang on. No, 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 no. I don't. That's the Stranger Things intro. Um, so you can hear it. All right, I gotta be fast. So I don't get copyrighted. You, you guys you guys hear it, right? Okay. Gonna turn it off. Um, and then I guess I'll demonstrate the hold music. Like Okay, so I'm gonna call myself on here to demonstrate the hold music. It's gonna be two seconds. So my phone should ring. So I have initiated a call from here to here. So now, hang on, let me just put on, hopefully not copy, okay, now I hit hold. Oh, it's because it's so quiet that you can't hear it. Here. So you can hear, hold music. If I pick it back up, this might make feedback. Oh, so now it decides to work. Hello. Hello. Yeah, put it back on hold. It's, it's pretty cool. And it does that for some reason. It goes all crappy like that, even though there's nothing wrong with it. So, yeah. Um, so that, and now we can demonstrate the rotary phone. So, with, through the ATA. So, if I pick it up, this one's extension is uh, 35. So, if I dial 3. Five. Hello. It works. And if I hang it up, it takes a second because it's analog, and then it hangs up. And if I dial thirty-three, which is that one's extension, in here, the bell ringer rings. Hello. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I guess we'll do fire alarm system now, and uh, yeah. Real quick, actually, I figured we test the emergency lights. So there's that emergency light, which is powered by that pack. So if you turn the breaker off, 
pack comes on. Remote heads come on, so that's pretty cool. So now we'll do the fire alarm system. So now we can do a test. Also, I have these new fancy stage lights, and that's gonna be another video out soon. Hopefully, that one I don't know. That one might take a little bit longer, but there will be a video about it eventually. Anyway, so let's activate it by this NBT12 LX. Obviously, it is conventional, so yeah. So here we go. That was cool. So now we just have the security system to test. So in the server room here, that's the security panel right there, that one, that the doors open on. And that's the siren right there. So uh, yeah, so. When I open this door, it should go off. Oh, nope, it wasn't armed. Uh, there's also, there's another pull station in here. And a uh, red phone, because why not? That's the keypad, so there's a motion and a uh, door contact in here. I'm not gonna... Actually, hang on. There, okay, I armed it in state. So now the second that it opens, it should just instantly go into alarm. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till this finishes arming and then we'll open the door. Okay guys, so it's armed now. So now when I open the door, the siren should go off. Apparently, it's deciding to be weird. Okay. So. Gotta be kind of fast with this because it's like really loud. There it is. Shut that off now. There we go. That was loud. I'm actually gonna arm this place up. Okay, there we go. God, my keys are just not having it. Anyway, guys, um, I hope uh, this is the end of the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.